in this lecture we are going to learn about a problem that is known as convex hull so what is convex hull you will understand in this lecture what is convex hull first the definition then we will see a brute force algorithm of how to find a convex hull it has very high complexity so we will look at a divide and conquer based method to find the convex hull in theta of n log n times and it's known as a quick hull problem okay so we will look at the quick hull problem in this lecture so what is a convex hull so if you are given n points in a two dimensional plane okay so we are given n points then you have to using those n points you have to find a convex hull okay basically a convex polygon for which all other points and points are inside that polygon okay so they are all inside that for example this we have all these points and then you have to form the convex hull so we make this convex hull all other points are inside this so if another definition again if you check so basically i'm telling that okay these are the points i have to use from these points and basically try to find a convex hull so these if i make okay so this convex polygon which has five sides it covers all other points inside it okay so this is a convex hull for all these n points so this is the definition now we will go to a brute force algorithm to solve this problem so let's try to see if there are n points okay so we can have n c3 and choose three pairs of triangles out of them okay so here if we have so one two three four okay let's one two three four five six seven eight eight points are there and i want to find the convex hull so if you see one property basically if i try so this convex hull would be this isn't it i think so so it will be again two three four five now let's try something okay some property of geometry if you try to see if i make triangles by choosing all the possible triangles from these n points which is n choose 3 and let's take any three such triangles okay so this point i take this point and this point and if you draw a circle and if you find some point is inside this then that point can never be on the convex cell okay so this point can never be on your convex cell because now if this point is there and this forms the polygon some points will lie outside similarly if i choose this point this and third one to make a triangle these two points will go out but if all the other points which are on the convex polygon if you choose this this and this then also you can see this triangle so this point these points are outside so basically what i'm telling is that if I choose this these three points so then also all the other points are inside it but the points which are on the convex hull are outside it okay so for any triangle the points which are on the convex hull vertexes of the convex hull will never lie inside it so our brute force is then very simple the brute force algorithm and list all the n choose three pairs uh, triangles okay so which is o of n cube numbers so n n minus 1 n minus 2 by 6 is the number we have these many triangles and for all of them we need to find if these points are what are the points which are inside them and we can just throw them out they are not in the convex polygon okay so this will take for again every point if we choose if that is inside the triangle it will take again o of n so this fill algorithm will become then because this again if three vertices are given if a point lies inside it or outside it can be found in o1 okay by formulas of coordinate geometry so this so for n such points 
we are trying so it will take o of n time so total it will become o of n to the power of 4 algorithm so this is fine but the thing is it's too much isn't it it's too much of time consumption we will use a divide and conquer based algorithm to find out so let's see uh, analytically first what it is okay so we will choose first time we will choose two points which have the leftmost lowest co x coordinate and highest x coordinate and these two points are the extreme points they will always be on the convex cell okay because they have to include all other points so we make one line here a b now let's see what we say is that we have to include some point points that should be there on the convex hull they should be enclosing as many points as possible isn't it because points that are coming so we saw that okay a triangle if points are inside that they can never be on the convex cell so to find such a point that enclose a lot of such points we choose a point which is maximum distance from a b such that that area of so we choose a triangle uh, point p such that the point p and the triangle a p b has the maximum area or basically p covers a p b covers the maximum area and when can that happen if the p is at maximum perpendicular distance from a b so here if you can see that point seems to be this one this is the p so if we choose this our a p b this becomes the point on convex hull this point will be there on the convex hull okay and now we have done like this and similarly here this is the one which was the dist most distant from a b so this point is also p and let's call this this is p1 this is p2 is also on the convex hull now we have divide and conquer so now we try out points again we take this as the point as the line like a b and now try to see which line is okay the farthest from it okay so this is the one so let's take some different color and this is the farthest so this will also be on the the convex hull okay but now the thing is should we check on this side we are checking always if i'm going from a to b i'm checking on the left hand side should we check here on the right of this a p3 we should not check okay because this point this side is already covered now okay so here and now what happens let's see the recursion so p3 is covered we will not check here if there is point here in this side we will again go for recursion but there is no point we will stop here for this line we see that okay again to left of p3 p1 there is a point so we will cover that in the convex hull so this is p4 now uh, same thing if a p2 here so it has on this side we will consider okay so p2a again this is the point that is there so we consider it in our convex hull p2b there is no point here and there is no point considering on this side because it's already there inside the triangles so these are p5 so our convex hull is a p3 p4 p1 b p2 p5 okay so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's a hexagonal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 7 sides are there for this polygon okay so this is how you find the convex cell so basically i gave you the idea that okay we basically try to cover the maximum area so we take the point p that is farthest from it so that it covers the greatest area triangle and all the points which are inside the triangle they will never be in the on the convex hull okay so this way we solve it 
now let's try to see the algorithm okay so we will try to look at this algorithm so so quick hull is our algorithm and what we do so let's try to see what we do we have a function quick hull the find the convex hull for the set of points we have this set quick convex hull initially empty find left and right most points say a and b okay so we find the left and the right most point by x coordinate and then we are sure that okay those two points will be there on the convex hull and we add it to the convex hull then what we do now that segment we saw divided that a b divided the points on the right side oriented from a to b and so this is the set s1 and s2 are the points on us that are on the right side of the line oriented from b to a so if you see from here b to a so s2 for this it's the right side okay now what happens so a b so the right side is this one s1 and b to a if we are there then our right is s2 here okay so now what we do we from here we find hull for s1 set of points here and we have the line segment a to b and for final s2 s2 what we do b to a so this we say that okay you have to take these two points for s1 then i say that okay pick the point that is the farthest for s2 also pick the point that is farthest now comes what is find hull okay so what is that a recursive algorithm okay so here let's try to see this one so find hull sk is the segment okay set of points p and q are the left and the right most points okay so find points on the convex hull for the set sk that are on the right side of the oriented line so lines are pq okay and then you have to find the on the right hand side okay so if sk is has no point okay which sk has no point if there is p and q are the points if sk has no point like here there are no points then you can simply return there is no there will be nothing for the convex hull on this side from the given set of points in sk find farthest point say c okay so let's say here on this side we find the farthest point c okay and add c to the then c should be added to the convex hull between p and q and then what happens now again this partitions the set s2 into three parts one is so this is the thing we are considering points on this side so this divides it into s0 s1 so s0 s1 so s0 are points inside the triangle PCQ they can never be in the convex hull on the vertices of the convex hull and then we have S1 are points on the right side of the line oriented from P to C so one will be like here one will be CQ so S2 will be there okay something like this so now we have set of points here we are only concerned with this and set of points here because s0 now they are not the candidates for convex hull so we need to consider this part and for cq we need to consider s2 hence what we do we say that okay find hull we call recursively this time we give the set of points s1 call with p comma c as the point then find hull we have s2 c comma q so this is the point I am asking to find. So this way it recursively goes on and adds points to your convex hull. Okay. Now let's try to see the time complexity of this algorithm. What will be the time complexity? So time complexity will again. So what we are doing, it will be something quick hull. Its name is quick hull this is because it's very similar to quick sort if tn is your time complexity for finding the quick hull for endpoints 
now when i find the points okay let's say a b and divide the set of points on this side and this side so let's say s1 and s2 then i'm not sure okay on s1 how many points will be there on and in s2 how many points will be there so let's say there are l points on left and r points on the right so we can write it as l t l plus t of n minus l and then what we are doing so we were trying to find that for these points okay so which is the farthest okay so for one side we are trying to find which is the farthest and again a point which is farthest so if this line has of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to zero is the equation of line ab then point x alpha comma beta if it's the coordinate of point p then easily we can find the perpendicular distance between these lines in o of one time so what will happen is if you find the distances of all the points in s1 from a b finding the minimum will be o of n time okay so basically we will have a o of n time algorithm here and again in the best case again it will keep on dividing the left and right in equal parts so it will become 2 tn by 2 plus o of n which is tn is theta of n log of n okay so on average it will be theta and log n but in the worst case like quicksort because this is this recursive equation recurrence relation is like that of quicksort and in that also its worst case was o of n square okay but in most cases it was theta of n log n the average case so this is same as the quicksort kind of problem and hence it has a time complexity on average of n log n but in the worst case you might have o of n square so this is about quick hull so i hope you understand this thanks a lot